Neutrinos are the weirdest particles that we know of because they are not quite massless. If they had no mass at all, like photons of light, we could probably deal with that. If they had as much mass as other particles, we could probably deal with that. The weird thing is that they are, it would take you at least 100,000 neutrinos on one side of the scales to balance a single electron on the other. The electron is the lightest electrically charged particle that we know. 100,000 times lighter than that is where the neutrinos live. Almost nothing, but not quite nothing. Why not? So that's one of the great unknowns. The second thing is we have for years wondered how it is we live in a universe made of matter and that the antimatter has disappeared. The smart money is that neutrinos might hold the answer because there are neutrinos and anti-neutrinos. And do they behave the same as each other? And some theorists think that they don't. It could be that we are here because of a subtle difference between these weird entities. So can we test that? And the big new science is neutrino astronomy. Ray Davis spent 40 years looking into the sun by the neutrinos that he emitted. We've detected a supernova in 1987 by the neutrinos that that emitted. Could we detect neutrinos from the stars? or even from the Big Bang that have been swimming around in space ever since? Well, if you have a big enough detector, maybe yes. But you can see how big that detector is going to be. The night sky, compared to daylight, is pretty dim. And the same will be true in neutrinos. Neutrinos from the stars will be dim compared from those from the sun. And it took him 40 years and 400,000 litres of cleaning fluid to detect those from the sun. So what hope have you got? Well, use a natural detector. It turns out that water will do frozen water like you find in the Antarctic and that's what they're now doing down there. An experiment called Ice Cube is making the first neutrino telescope by putting special detectors deep in the ice over hundreds of square kilometers. So the ice of Antarctica is now a natural detector for neutrinos from the stars, some coming down above your heads, some coming up through the Earth from the other side, from the Big Bang, from stars, from who knows what weird things going on out there in the cosmos.